Hey, what's up, y'all? Got all my gear and uh, let this adventure begin. Made it to the park, Eisenhower State Park, and this is my camping area. It's pretty cool because it has a lot of shade, which I dig. I do not like being out in the sun. I'm gonna start setting up the campsite, and got the Kelty ultralight bag, and got my ultralight uh, camping equipment in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and set it up right here on the camping pad. One thing I didn't bring enough of, and that is water, so I'm gonna head out as soon as I get everything set up and get some more water. Maybe ice, I've got a little cooler too. <laughs> okay, so now that I've got the stuff out, this tent right there, is super cool because it uses a pole, a hiking pole, as a tent setup. And I'll show you how that works. Um, but this is a family owned business that makes their products in, I believe, Oregon. And if I have to correct it, I'll mention it in the description below. I'm gonna go ahead and set the tent up and give me a little privacy. Go ahead and uh, stand this tent up. Oh. really hot out <laughs> but I got the tent all set up now this tent is super light weighs less than two pounds I believe and river country it's like teepee style which is nice because you get a lot of room and it's pretty cool because if it does rain, water can't go inside because it has like a liner tub like design to keep the water out. I still put a tarp underneath these, underneath it just because. It's awesome because it will keep all mosquitoes out and it's super breathable. So you get a lot of good airflow going in. And at the way top, there's a little hanging loop uh, for the light. Here's the inflatable mattress I will be sleeping on and it's supposedly super good it weighs I think it's uh, under a pound I gotta pull this out okay because if you close it that's what keeps the air trapped in they had a friend trying to blow air into it <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm gonna use this mat as an extra. I mean, it's super comfortable, but I wanna be extra, extra comfortable since I'm gonna be in the tent and I'm gonna try to sleep really good tonight. Okay, it's in and look at that. How cool is that? Who says you can't camp in sort of luxury, right? The inside's gray and it's really comfortable. But I think I'm gonna put it away for now so I can lay in here if it gets too hot. Okay, there's the setup for the tent. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and get the stove ready and go to the store, grab some ice um, and some cold beverages. Um, it's getting really hot, look at this. I can build a lake here. I'm gonna head to the uh, club marina. I guess there's a club marina out here. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna see if it's open, if I can get some ice, because the store is like two miles away. I don't feel like driving two miles. Sand uh, bought from Cabela's. It's a 10 footer, it's real versatile. It fits in the bed of my truck, no problems. Goes anywhere. One of the more comfortable seats you'll get from anything. Dude. More uh, attachments and fishing accessories than I, than I will put on there. So this is your solo tent? All by myself. Who's the maker? easy. Who's the maker? That is translucent. Translucent. Oh, you even have a small window for draft air. Look at that. Cool. Weighs about one pound. Packages in about uh, four by ten inches. Okay. The awesome neighbor across the way map. The dude with the canoe and the awesome tent gave me this pork. Mmm, mmm, it's really good. Oh man, it's super delish. This is the portable stove that I'll be using. It just takes this can of butane and easy instructions, and it has a self igniter, which makes it easy. Some good old eating here, some hearty food. I am debating whether or not to start a fire because it's freaking hot out here. Uh, I don't think I've ever been this hot in my life. I do have a tank top, but I wanna save it for tomorrow. Don't wanna get it all sweaty right now because it's gonna be dark soon. I'm ready to go, so let's do this. Sun's going down, it's still freaking hot, but heck, you know.
Okay, I'm gonna head back. This is my setup here. Okay, so it is time for me to go to sleep. The only problem is I forgot my shorts. I was gonna sleep in my shorts, so I guess I'm gonna have to sleep in my undies or probably in the buff just because it's super hot out and there's nobody here. Well, there is, but they can't see me, I don't think. <sighs> I did not sleep well at all. It was way too hot. No breeze at all either. And there were ants crawling on me all night. Don't know how they got in, unless when I was packing the stuff, unpacking, and I left it on the bench, and I didn't realize that there were ants on them. Expecting some sort of wild animals out here, but there weren't any, so. <laughs> okay, definitely not staying here another night, because it's just too hot, especially when I was supposed to be camping in my Jeep. Sorry, y'all next time for sure so here it goes it's all clean camping etiquette let's go let's get out of here mm -hmm.